Hi, my name is Matt Bowler, and in this video we will be going over basic intrusion prevention systems implementation using the Cisco Security Device Manager, or more commonly known as the SDM. Our topology here uh, may look a little familiar if you've seen the GRE tunnel or the VPN labs that I've done. Uh, we have three routers here our main router where we will do the IPS implementation and configuration will be on router 1 and I am connected to router 1 via a loopback adapter on my laptop that's how our connectivity will occur uh, through the SDM router 1 is connected to router 2 and router 2 is connected to router 3 you can see the interfaces and IP addresses here are color-coded and that is done intentionally. Our blue interfaces are the interfaces and IPs that will have connectivity. And the red interfaces you can see here are ones that I do not uh, want being able to ping or... Uh, well, we're just going to do a basic ICMP request block in this lab. but you you'll be able to see later well, once we get into the SDM all the potential uh, attacks that are being mitigated or taken care of on router 1 but like I said we'll just do a basic ping request denial and uh, dropping of that packet in this lab so if I were on router 2 and sourcing from either of these interfaces attempting to ping router 1 or anything beyond router 1 on the other side here it'll be denied but if I am on router 3 I will be able to ping across and uh, we will accomplish interconnectivity through EIGRP you can see it's running autonomous system 10 on the following networks the 172.16.1.0 with the 24-bit subnet mask and the 10.1.1.0 and 10.2.2.0 each with the 30-bit uh, two hosts available subnet masks and networks there. To begin I already have the interfaces and IP addresses configured on router 2 and 3 as well as EIGRP and now I need to go on to router 1 and uh, finish the configuration so we can do some basic testing, get into the SDM, and uh, go over some of the features that, that we can utilize here within Cisco's SDM as it relates to uh, intrusion prevention, configuration and implementation, and also verification. If I bring up Router 1, uh, you can see I just booted it up, so I will not enter the initial configuration dialog. One of the first things that I will do here is some of the basic uh, lab setup that I have whenever I'm going to do a lab. I set the exec timeout on the line console to never and I like to set logging to synchronous so I don't have messages interrupting uh, my text or output as I'm typing. So I'll go into configure terminal mode and I'm going to rename this router first of all R1 go into the line console for uh, zero line there and issue the no exec timeout as well as login synchronous 